आजही नाही याची मगाशी तुम्ही खंत व्यक्त केली सोशल मीडियाचा वापर आपण फक्त वाढदिवस अजूनही करतोय As the battle for Bharat continues, one of the most high-stake constituencies in Mumbai is the Mumbai South constituency. I have with me today Arvind Sawant, who has been going door to door campaigning for a constituency that belongs to the Shiv Sena UBT. But the Mahayuti says that the last time you won was because of the Modi wave, and this time it's going to be odds against you. Yeah, here is the MLA. Okay. He contested 2014 election when Modi was not there. It is with the blessings of Honorable uh, Vandaniya Shivasena Pramuk. He contested uh, on the candidature of Shivasena Uddhav Balasaheb Thakri alone. That time the defection was not there. But Shivasena, who led by Uddhav Ji Thakri, he won the election. We won 63 seats without his photo. How can you forget that? They realized the strength of the Uddhav Ji Thakri on that day and the Shivasena strength. Because they came, they were uh, they were underestimating Honorable Uddhav Ji Thakre and Shiv Sainik too. They felt what they'll do alone. But so do, do you want think to there is a Modi wave this time? And do you think that you will have to face the backlash? No, not at all. It's, it's absolutely not. See, prior to 2014, was Shiv Sainik not in on ruling party? We have 173 seats when Balasab was there. Where was his photograph? We have saved him. Balasab has saved him. Don't forget, Modi has been saved by Balasab Thakre. So because of him, he is there today. Otherwise, he would have been thrown by BJP long back. So what do you think will be the issues for Mumbai South constituency when the battle comes close? I back? thank you for that this question. You know, many of the people don't understand what is Lok Sabha. What are, what part we are parliamentary? We are the lawmakers. We are the policy makers. As far as constituency is concerned, we have to see to it that the interests of Maharashtra state, my constituency. What is the interest of my constituency? Two is major issues are there. Two issues. One is the Mumbai port. If the Mumbai, Mumbai was vibrant because the Mumbai port was there and textile mills were there. But then now uh, down within 10 years, what the government has done, I pursued the issue like anything, but they did not. He, in fact, you know, the Honorable Uddhavji has presented a project for the Mumbai's east coast and accordingly uh, the, their minister also tried to do it. He tried it. I wouldn't say he did not try, but the Honorable Prime Minister did not approve it. So what is the wrong with Mumbai? But the, the issue of renaming of stations also has been pending, something for which you have claimed it. <laughs> it's ridiculous, you know. I, I think I think in 2017 or all, I think, I issue, raised this issue in the parliament. And I said, because if you look at Mumbai, prior to the other, if you go to the uh, towards Churchgate or the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus, all these stations are named by some individual's name. If you go beyond this, to a, even a Karjat Kasara or even Dhanu, you won't find a single station named by any person. The area names have been given. I insisted that time. I have given the name. Here the cabinet meeting was over. After that cabinet meeting, some MP we goes and gives the name. We have, who has got no concern with my constituency. And the next day it, they say, uh, the renaming, renaming cannot be done like this. The government has to approve. They have to give the proposal. The central government has to approve. They have not done it. Just for the sake of election, just for the sake of to lure the voters, that this is what we are doing it. They have not done it. It is, it is the demand of Arvindji Savan, who belong to Shiv Sena, Uddhav Bharasev Thakri, to rename the name of the station according to the area, like Chani Road. You know, everybody calls Girgao. You go to Marine Lands, everybody says Mumba Devi. Why not? Why not? What's wrong in it? You know, a lot of public mudslinging has been happening in the last few days between Eknath Shinde and Uddhav Thakre both blaming each other for the turn of events because of which the Shiv Sena left the BJP and then there was a split thereafter. See, liars are liars and loyals are loyals. One who is loyal will never speak such thing. Who has brought you up? Think of it. 2012, the Balasa was not there. 2014, we contested alone. We made alliance left on. Who gave the ministry to him? It is Uddhavji Thakre. Who gave? He, he gave him the ministry. He has given not only given gave the ministry to him. He has given him full liberty to work. And even after when our government came under the leadership of Uddhavji Thakre, he was given a full liberty with the trust and faith. He has backstabbed that trust and faith.
But Aditya Thakre said that he came crying to Matoshri when the central agency is dated, and because of that, he finally joined the BJP. He is the truth. What he is, truth must prevail. His name was there in the diary. You know it. The Parmar who was done a suicide. His name was there in the diary of the his Parmar's diary. So he he was under the scan of CBI, ED, both. And therefore, he he was reluctant to go to the police. He said, I am at the at this age, I will not go to the jail and all. That means he knows that. Whatever he has done was wrong, and he would have been sent to jail. That's the reason. But Ekna Chinde he... says, but Ekna Chinde says that the problem Uddhav Thakre has is that a farmer's son has become the chief minister, something that he could have never imagined, and that's why. This oh, oh, what a farmer! Is a what is that? Um, scooter auto. driver or auto driver? He talks about farmer. When he has purchased the land, just go and take the record. Well, whether the whether he had so much of land which he is possessing right now. Try to become minister. Let him, let him say, tell the people that this is the land belong to my ancestors, and I am doing that. You never ever a farmer, never ever work for the pharmacy. Just when he got the money, he did it all these things. So therefore, to blame Uddhavji Thakre is again, you know, below the belt. It doesn't give any uh, what you can see the uh, the standard or the of uh, opposition or a ruler party to behave like this. But they are the you know they are the followers of honourable uh, prime minister. The way prime minister is uh, uh, attacking on below the belt, same thing they are doing it. This is the first time after Shiv Sena split that both the splits are going for polls. How do you think the show of strength will be? This split is not the new. 2014 split was there. We did contest alone. We won 63-6. No, but Shiv Sena was not split. Right now the Shiv Sena okay. is split. But the Shiv Sena, even Shiv Sena split, we are, we are contesting 21 seats. And see that what is their fate. Out of 13, hardly 9 seats have been given. And within 9 seats, 5 candidates have been changed on, by the, uh, uh, because of the pressure of the BJP. Where the, that uh, Shiv Sena is existing. It is not at all existing. It will not exist in the future also. Uddhavji Thakare Shiv Sena will remain and will remain in service for the Maharashtra. What will be the impact of Raj Thakre supporting Modi, particularly in Mumbai? Wavering mind never gives you confidence of anything. It's a wavering mind. The way he has, last time also he was in opposition, because that time we were in BJP, Laurito video, he has conducted a rally in Abhidhanagar against me, but that time from for Rashtravadi. Today, this time he may do it for some other else. So it doesn't make any difference to the people who have lost the faith in him. Arvind Savan, best wishes for your campaign. So this was Arvind Savan speaking exclusively to CNN News 18 about his campaign that's going on in Mumbai South.